is a call. There is a demand on us. Daniel said, there is a problem. There is a situation. Give us time. And when he said, give us time, he went to his company, his prayer partners, and he told them, let's go to the secret place. And the moment they entered into the secret place, the one who dwells in the secret revealed it in the night, in the time of secret. When people are asleep, in the time of secret, when he's having communion, in the time of secret. Listen, I don't know what your situation is. Hear what God is saying. It doesn't matter how long something has dragged over your life. God is saying, if you can come to the secret place, he reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness. Let no one deceive you that there is a curse, there is a witchcraft, there is an altar, there is powers of darkness anywhere. All these things are being talked about because if you don't enter into where he is in the secret, those things are relevant. The people who are attacking and limiting and fighting your life operate in the secret. I pray, if you've never heard God speak, I, me, I, I was telling the pastors on Tuesday, in a stutuma, so, Hear the word of the Lord. Listen. The things that are fighting your life are coming from a secret place. The things that are resisting you are coming from a secret place. The things that are happening around you, there is a dark place where they are operating from, a place where you cannot see. God is saying today, as Barak ministered, hear the word of the Lord. God has prophesied and announced revival, but God is saying, Come out of being a busy church. Come out of being a busy people. Separate yourselves and come into the secret. Then I will start unlocking the deep things of the secret. Things that have been hidden. I will show you everything you want to work with. That is the word of the Lord to us. Listen to what God taught me on Tuesday. When you are speaking, he says, if you don't come to the secret place, your life will remain a secret. The ministry will remain a secret. If as Barak ministries, we don't hear the call of God to separate ourselves right now, to create time for God right now, to go into a secret place right now, to go into prayer, to go into consecration, to go into separation as Barak ministries, Barak ministries will remain a secret. But God has said, if you come into this secret place, I will reveal your glory. Someone did not hear me. God says, I will reveal your glory. God is saying, I will reveal your glory. But listen, it's a price to come into the secret place. Did you hear what Daniel said? We need time. You need time to enter the secret place. Meaning you can't be sleeping the way everyone is sleeping. You need time to enter the secret place. Meaning you can't just be busy with your life. You need to have time now where you can come to a place of quietness now. A place where you can commune now. A place of intimacy now. Please, people of God, hear what God is saying. You will not conceive in public. God will not make love to you in public. God wants you to conceive Barak Ministries. He wants you to carry something in a generation. But you are too...
Job 29 from verse 2. Can we read this together? One, two, three, let's go. How I long for the months gone by, for the days when God watched over me. Verse 3. When his lamp shone upon my, and by his light I walked through, where was this lamp coming from? Where was this light making him walk through whatever people call darkness? Where was this coming from? Give me this. Let's go. Oh, for the days when I was in my, when God Talk to me. When God, when God, change the version. Give me another version. Give me amplified. Let's start with this. Okay. When I was in my prime, when God's friendship was felt in my house. Give me amplified. Let's read this. As I was in my Rightness of my, when the friendship and, are you listening to that? When the friendship and the counsel of God were, give me King James. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. As I was in the days of my, when, When, talk to me, when the secret of God cannot be on your tabernacle if you are not in the secret place. The secret... Give me the next verse. Let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. Uh huh. Tell somebody that is the presence of God. Tell somebody that is anointing. Tell somebody that is favor. Tell somebody that is oil on your life. Give me the next verse.
Ezra and Jezre. When I went to the gate of the city and took my seat in the public square, we cannot take the city, we cannot take the nation, we cannot take the nations until we all go into the secret place. There has to be a secret before there is a public. Give me the next verse. Let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. The young men saw me and stepped aside. The old men rose to their feet. The chief men refrained from speaking and covered their mouth with their hands. And the voices of the nobles were hushed and their tongues stuck to the roof of their... Give me the next verse. Whoever... Come on, let's read together, church. One, two, three, let's go. Whoever... Those who... Why? I did not just appear. I'm coming from a secret place. So what I am carrying, no one has heard. But that's what is working and opening. That's what's bringing healing, deliverance. I am coming from a secret place. And because I'm coming from a secret place, what I am bringing are the answers to people. So when I speak, everyone receives it. Because that's what they were dealing with. Right. Don't even go there. Go back to. Whoever heard me spoke well of me. We need to do something. I, did, I said I wasn't going to teach for long because I want us to pray. Give me James. Give me 4, 6. James 4, verse 6. Let's read this together. 1, 2, 3, let's go. But he gives us, that is why the scripture says, give me the next verse. Submit Tell somebody the devil is not a problem. Tell somebody submission is the issue. Tell somebody you cannot resist if you are not submitted. Amen? Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. What is he talking about? Submit. Give me the next verse. And we pray. Let's read. One, two, three. Let's go. Again. One, two, three. Let's go. Come. And what will God do? So what happens if as Barak ministers we refuse to come near? Let's start. You've heard the word of the Lord. Let's read again as we are standing. The top part. One, two, three, let's go. Come near. Now, do you know why he says, wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded? Because what stops us from coming near to God is that our hands are entangled in so many things. What stops us from coming near to God is that our minds are on so many things. We are double-minded. What is stopping us from coming near to God is that our life is already near to something else. Please hear. 
you've never heard the voice of God, please hear. Come near. Come near to God. And he will come near to you. He says, how will you do that? He says, let go of what your hands have been tangled in. What you're already engaged in, that you are near. Divorce what your mind has been double on. What is occupying? Do you now understand Matthew 15 verse 8? Put Matthew 15 verse 8. Our prayer is this one, come near. That's what we are praying. But now you understand Matthew 15 verse 8. Let's read this together. One, two, three, let's go. These people honor me with their, but their hearts are. God is saying, listen, when I'm saying come near to me, I want you to bring your value system. I want you to bring your heart. I want you to bring your time. I want you to bring your resources. I want you to bring yourself as a person. These people honor me with their lips. But they are hearts. I am seeking for hearts. The people come near to church with their bodies, but their hearts are not there. They register that they are in church, but their hearts are not there. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far. Their hearts are far. How do I know their hearts are far? Because their hearts are near to their jobs. Their hearts are near to money. Their hearts are near to their relatives. Their hearts are near to their spouses. Their hearts are near to things of the world. All oh, their hearts are near. When it comes to any other thing, their hearts are near. When it comes to me, their hearts are far. When it comes to me, a person who can't spend three hours with God, but a person can spend ten hours on a job, their hearts are far. A person can go and be with friends and spend five hours with a friend. They can't spend two hours in the presence of God. Their hearts are far. God is saying, come near to me. Come near. You have been far. What has made you far? Your heart. Because your hands are entangled in things. Because your mind is set on earthly things. You are concerned about this earth. You are concerned about life status. You are concerned about how people see you. But you are not concerned about how God sees you. You are concerned about how people see you. You want to fit in in the world. But you are not fitting in in God's world. Please hear me. I want you to hear the voice of God. What you have heard today, God started speaking on Tuesday when I was with the pastor. I tried to prepare on faith. But God says, speak this. I want the church to hear this. You can continue teaching on faith. The people you are talking about faith, they are far from me. How will they believe in me? They are not near me. Pray after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. My Father, I have seen from what you have said that I'm not near you. Daddy, my life has been a secret because I've never come to the secret place. My father, I am far from you. I am not near you. I want to come near you. I know my hands are entangled in things. Wash me in the blood. I know my mind is double-minded. It is set on earthly things. Wash my mind in the blood. I know my life is entangled in things. Separate me. 
so that I can come near to you. Daddy, my heart has been far. I have been near to my wife. I have been near to my children. I have been near to my career. I have been near to my studies. I have been near to my education. But I have not been near you. My father, help me draw near. Let my heart not be far from today. Forgive me for honoring you with my lips. Forgive me for bringing my body to church when my heart is far. Forgive me for not having time to pray, for not having time to separate myself. Forgive me for being far. Help me come near. Daddy, you've said today, there are secret things, there are hidden things, there are deep things that are in darkness that you want to bring out over my life, over my family, over Barak Ministries. My Father, you have called for us to come near. Help me come near. Just lift your hands wherever you are. Father, I lift Barak Ministries before the throne of grace. Daddy, I ask, help us. We have been far from you. Daddy, you've called for revival. But our revival is hidden in the secret place. Our revival is hidden in the place of prayer, in the place of intimacy, in the place of deep fellowship. Daddy, from today, let a hunger be birthed, a hunger to pray, a hunger for fellowship, a hunger for the secret place. Daddy, the answers we are looking for, the glory that is supposed to reveal over our lives, what is supposed to change our season is in the secret place. The wisdom and the power we need is in the secret place. My Father, from today, Take each person by the hand and take us as a church by the hand and draw us into the secret place. You have sent your word today. Let this word, Daddy, germinate. Let this word grow. Let this word start prayer revivals. Let this word start night vigils. Let these words, my Father, start a yearning and a crying for your presence. Let this word, my Father, bring a separation on every member in this church. Let this word, my father, bring a longing for the secret place. A longing for you. A longing to come near. Daddy, you want to come near to us, but until we come near, you cannot come near. There are things you have concealed. Until we make a mind to come to the secret place, they remain concealed. You will never reveal them. You will never open them until we come to the secret place. As a church, help us come to the secret place. Help us, Father. Daddy, I bring everyone before the throne of grace. My Father, I've spoken what you spoke. Everyone, Daddy, has heard your voice and they have heard your word. I pray, help everyone here to apply this word. Let them no one be judged on the basis of hearing this word. But let everyone run with this word, my Father. Let everyone implement this word. I ask, Father, in Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Listen, if you are here, and you have not given your life to the Lord, I would love to pray with you. You can't come close to someone you don't know. If you're here, you are not born again, you've never given your life to the Lord, I would love to pray with you. If you've never given your life to the Lord, I want you to lift up your hand, I pray with you. You are not born again. You have not received Jesus as Lord and Savior. I want you to lift your hand. You have not 
receive. He's not Lord over your life. You are not born again. You've never given your life to the Lord. I want you to lift your hand. Is there anyone who's not saved here? You don't have this relationship. You can't enter into the secret place. If we are all saved, let's give a clap offering to the Lord. Let's have announcements. Once again, let's give the Lord a clap offering. Let's all uh, appreciate uh, our senior pastor, Apostle Manasse, for delivering that power to people preaching. Thank you very much. You may take your seats. Good morning, church. Our announcements uh, for today are as follows. We start with a reminder of our church programs. Uh, our church services uh, start at 8.30 with intercession, and then we move into the main service at 9.30 hours. We also have youth meetings every Sunday after service, and every second and fourth Saturday of each month, we have the walk of faith from 10 hours. We have women of influence every first Saturday of each month, and for this month, it took place uh, yesterday. The gathering of wise men takes place every second Sunday of each month. And for this month, uh, the gathering of wise men will take place next Sunday in Matero. So all the men, next Sunday after service, we are heading to Matero. We uh, have made some transport arrangements, and we encourage you uh, to come on time. We we'll attend service here, then immediately after the service, will get into the cars and go to Matero. So kindly inform other men who are not uh, in church uh, today. Then next Saturday, or rather this coming Saturday, on the 9th from 14 hours, we are going to have a pastors and leadership uh, meeting. So all pastors and all leaders from here, from all our branches, we are going to meet here uh, from 14 hours up to about 17 hours on Saturday. It's, uh, this is a follow-up meeting to the ones that we did uh, earlier this year. So if you are a leader on Saturday, 14 hours, make sure you attend this meeting and also inform other leaders who are not in church. We are reminded that we, as a church, we run a TV station. It's called HTV, and it's accessible on Top Star Channel uh, 97. Uh, it's also on Facebook as HTV Zambia. We encourage everyone to create time to like the HTV page and also to watch, uh, rather to tune into the TV station uh, from your homes. The church is also on Facebook as Barak Ministries International, and all 